Welcome to the training video on role-based access control and asset scopes. So today I'll be talking more about the advanced role-based access control that we have in Landsweeper and how you can use it combined with asset scopes to ensure that your users can only see what they're allowed to see and what they need to see. Um, so in Landsweeper now, it is possible to ensure that your users can only see the data that they're allowed to see. That means that regardless of how much data you put into your Landsweeper, you can control that your personnel that's responsible for Linux machines, for example, can only see Linux machines regardless of where they try and look, whether it be just in their general inventory or if it's in reports or other data specific points in Landsweeper. They can only see what they're allowed to see. And that's kind of the basic concept of role-based access control is ensuring that people can only see what they're allowed to see so that they're not looking at data um, from other kind of geographical locations, from other departments, um, et cetera, et cetera. So let's take a look in Landsweeper itself, how you can set it up and how you can use it. So here in Landsweeper, uh, we're on the general dashboard, but to go to actual configuration and taking a look at the roles, we're gonna have to go to our configuration. And then under account management is where we'll find all of the configuration that we need. So we here have the roles and permissions. Uh, obviously roles as a concept, um, you know, each role has a set number of permissions in it. It dictates what a specific user can do within Landsweeper itself. So we're going to create a new role, which is specific for Linux admins. Um, so here in the Linux admin role that we've just created, we're gonna to have to select some permissions. Um, so I'm just going to quite quickly do this. So I'm gonna give them all the permissions on inventory. Um, you can see here that we have full permissions based on viewing, uh, creating, deleting, export, um, all those different permissions here are listed. So you can enable, disable, whatever you prefer, you know, if you don't want to let them delete comments, if you do not want to let them delete asset states, um, whatever it might be, um, you can customize it here. On the left-hand side, you'll quickly also see that depending on which permissions you enable, there'll be a green check mark behind the category. So you kind of quickly know which or which categories have permissions enabled for this, um, for this specific role. Um, for example, if I do one here where I can, okay, you can view the vulnerabilities. Um, they can view diagrams, they can view software, um, some basic things like that. Then you'll see as well, there we go. You can see which ones here have been applied, which ones, which categories have been enabled for this specific role. Now let's make sure that we save that there. Um, then we get to the next component, which is scopes. Um, now roles are just quite broad, quite general. They, you know, they obviously give you um, the ability to let people do specific things, but it doesn't restrict them from doing this based on extra parameters. For example, now we created this Linux admin role, but looking just at the permissions that they have, they have permissions on all of the assets, all the data that we have within Landsweeper. There's no specific mention of, you know, oh, they can only view Linux assets and they can only create and edit Linux annex assets. Um, they can do it on everything. So that's where scopes come in. Uh, scopes let you kind of further narrow down what you're actually, or what that user, what that role is allowed to do. Now we can do this in a couple of different ways. Um, if you just want to filter on a specific installation. So let's say that you have installations linked to your site from the US and from Europe, and you've got people, um, users in your installation that are you know, either from admins that are either from the US or Europe. Um, you can create, a, you know, you can create a, or a role for the European admins and make sure that you know, only data, they can only see data from the European installation. And then same thing for the North American ones where you can then only select the North American installation so that they only have access, they can only view data coming from that specific installation. On top of that, if you want to go further than just installations, um, you can create an asset scope. Um, and asset scopes let you go a bit deeper where you can go into asset types and other parameters as well. So let's create one here, do Linux admin, 
Um, you can add a short description if you want. So then we have a couple of options here, asset type, asset domain, or IP location. Um, this time we're gonna go obviously for asset type, equal to, and then Linux, there we go. Um, and then if we save and exit this, so we know that this scope specifically is to limit what people can see to the asset type that's equal to Linux, so that they can only see things um, Linux related. Um, so now we have the Linux admin scope. We have the permission that's here, or the role that's here that we created, Linux admin, there it is, just to make sure that it's applied. So we can go here, scopes, Linux admin, we can enable that. So now we have a uh, specific role just for Linux admins with the additional scope to ensure that they can only see Linux assets. That has been saved. The last thing you can do is if you want to quickly apply this to multiple people, um, you can do it individually, but an easier way to do it is to use the account groups. So we're also going to quickly make a Linux admin group. And that way we can, at the same time, you know, add multiple users to this group so they're automatically, they automatically have that specific role um, there. So now we have a group that has multiple people in it. So we know that everyone that is in this group can only see Linux assets. Um, so that means that goes across everything. So that means dashboards, reports, uh, whatever it might be. Um, it's not limited in any way. They can't really get around it in any other way. Uh, they're only able to see Linux assets. Um, and as I've shown, you can do this for other things as well. So you can do this for installations. You can do this for IP locations if you're creating kind of sub locations if you might uh, if you might say um, or um, also domains if you have specific admins for the specific domains you can also use it for that um, and i'm sure there's more to follow in the future as well so you can further narrow down exactly what you need um, so with that i think i've covered everything there is for role-based access control within landsweeper um, and you can head over to the next video to learn more